Hello, thank you for watching this video. My name is Atsushi. Um, this might be the first time for you to find this channel. Um, I am the Sashiko artisan. Sashiko is a form of Japanese hand stitching to reinforce the fabric. Um, this is a video. This is the video expressing my disappointment and even anger to the cultural appropriation and inappropriate naming for the shaping underwear brand Kimono by famous celebrity Kim Kardashian. Many people express their anger for trademarking the underwear brand with the word Kimono. There is a petition in change.org and I hope you would spare some of your time to be part of that petition. On top of that, as the one who practiced Sashiko, I would like to share my I would like to share why it is not cool, it is not okay to name one underwear brand kimono. The goal of this video and videos I will upload from now on regarding this issue is to motivate Kim to change the name of her brand by us sharing our part of the rich history and culture of beautiful kimono and Japanese culture. I hope Kim and some others those who are excited about kimono underwear brand would feel a little bit embarrassed by learning how kimono is deeply rooted in food the Japanese art. This is edited version of my speech in the Sashiko live stitching on Instagram. I have the archive on YouTube that was filmed on June 28th. Instead of chattering freely or randomly, I will simplify my I, I will simplify my message to communicate better. This is my first time to express my own feeling, my own personal feeling in public. I have done some stories, but this is my first time to express my own feeling in public. It is already outside of my comfort zone, but I couldn't be silent for this matter. Please do not misunderstand my message. I will not be offended by you in joining kimono as kimono. Calling the underwear brand kimono for the publicity for her business is the issue I am upset with. First of all, it seems trademarking kimono is her business strategy. The intentional ignorance instead of innocent ignorance. When I first learned about this issue, I thought it was just because of innocent warning usage. Kimono has Kim in it, so it is somewhat understandable that she used the word Kimono for the branding if she doesn't know anything about the Kimono culture. However, I changed my mind when I found out that they delete all the comments on the Instagram regarding and requesting to change the name with explain explaining that kimono is very inappropriate to use. If this is the intentional ignorance, it is an issue of overriding the cultural world for one's benefit, for this case, her company or her business. So Kim intentionally ignores our comments or com concerns and disrespects the kimono culture. She says that she respects the Japanese culture and kimono culture, but without actual action, it means nothing. The word of kimono, it means things to wear, established its meaning as Japanese clothing when the Western clothing were introduced to Japan. To distinguish Western clothing and Japanese clothing, um, we called Western clothing yofuku and the Japanese clothing wafuku, that leaves kimono. Not many Japanese wear kim kimono in ordinary days anymore. However, however, we enjoy kimono on a special occasion such as a wedding or celebration for the children's growth, so-called hichigo-san, and coming of age ceremonies when they become 20. We associate our precious memories to the clothing, kimono. Japanese naturally accept the idea of animism, the things has its own spirit, 
So kimono is just kimono is not just the name for the clothing. It is more than <clears throat> this possible purpose oriented wear. It carries memory and spirit. Therefore it could be our identity. Although we do not wear kimono every day, we try to pass down this culture to the next generation by wearing kimono on those special occasion. Kimono often get passed down from a mother to her grand to her daughter and daughter to granddaughter. For Japanese, kimono is not a brand name. It is no one's property. It has never been somebody's property. It is our identity to respect who we are. Therefore, therefore, the intentional ignorance to override the wording kimono for one's business is not cool. It's not okay. I hope I can communicate her horrible taste in naming and motivate them to feel embarrassed for supporting her brand. By the way, um, I understand that Kim and her surroundings do not represent all the Western people. I appreciate those who support me and support the Japanese culture over YouTube and Instagram. The more people get interested in Japanese culture, the more non-Japanese people dressed up with the kimono. I believe it is very beautiful thing. They respect the Japanese culture and kimono and they enjoy wearing it. I never thought that the non-Japanese people enjoying kimono is an issue of cultural appropriation. In fact, I appreciated it. It's the opposite. However, naming the underwear kimono, underwear brand kimono, in which there's no, absolutely no connection or respect to kimono, is not acceptable. I will continue expressing my feeling on YouTube with more stories and reasons that I had shared on the live streaming. Please leave the comment. If there's anything I can cover explaining the Kim Oh No issue, I am just the father with a regular responsibility to provide, so I may not be able to answer your question in a good timely manner, but I will try my best to follow up and answer those questions. Lastly, lastly, from the legal perspective, I'd like to share why it is important for us to speak up now. I went to the USPDO database and confirmed that the application filed by the company Kimono Intimates. However, USPDO has not assigned the trademark to the exclaimer. But of course, there's a possibility to do it. Therefore, before it gets too late, the voice from us, ordinary but important people like us, has to be delivered to the proper place instead of some rich celebrity who thinks she can own everything. I hope we can laugh about her ignorance later on, but it, it already happened. She filed the application. So your voice means a lot to us as a Japanese today. All right, it's another personal note. This is the personal note. Um, this is a very personal note. I may be picking a fight. Um, I'm not happy with Kim. I'm not happy with Kim at all. However, more honestly, I'm surprised. I'm very surprised and honestly disgusted by the people who leave the comments, exciting comment on her Instagram. The solution way might be good. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna wear it anyway. It may be good. I don't know the quality of the product. Then it might solve some of pe some people's, you know, concerns. However, after so many comments on the Instagram explaining, asking to change the name on some article. I know you're upset too. Some article on in the major publication like New York Times mentioning about the kimono culture, I cannot believe some people are still happy with that. I know many people on the other side encourage Japanese people for this petition, but she has 100 million followers on Instagram. 
And are they all happy about it? When did we start? When did we become so ignorant to the others? I do not. I didn't find the following that. Now, when we Google the word kimono, we can see a lot of kimono-like fashion. It is not preferable. It is not preferable to see someone uh, making money selling the their own item calling kimono or kimono inspired instead of actual traditional kimono. However, however, Kim's case is worse because her solution underwear will be the first image when they get a trademark. Google will find that unless the Google decide to not do list those things, will override, override all of the messages and photos on the Google or internet. And that's not acceptable. Underwear instead of the kimono? Come on. From my maker or like Stitcher's perspective, I would like to wow the world with sharing more photos or more, more explanation about Japanese culture. It is our responsibility, it is Japanese responsibility to share, explain what kimono, what the other Japanese culture is. Um, the Japanese are not good at it. Unfortunately, they're not, we are not good at it. I am not good at it neither. I have to read my script to explain what's going on. Especially those traditional field, including Sashiko, the people are mainly elder, elderly people, and they do not first speak English, and they do they follow the Japanese mindset of avoiding the conflict, and so do I. I am, I'm scared. I'm of course scared and embarrassed talking about my own feeling so much in public, even reading the script is not my comfort thing to do. However, I couldn't be quiet. Um, quiet is sometimes gold, being quiet is sometimes gold, silence is gold, but for this time, I don't think being quiet changed the world. Professional. I am not kimono professional. I do not make a living with kimono. However, I do respect kimono throughout what I do. Sashiko. Please, please respect the Japanese culture to protect its original form. For this time, it is kimono. Thank you for watching this video. I will come back to this video with more explanation, with more stories, why it is not cool to call one underwear brand kimono. Thank you. Nihongo de goran no minasama, konnichiwa. アメリカで差し子を紹介する活動をしています。2つやと申します。今回の金川ダシアンの強制下着を着物とするブランド名の件、たくさんの方が声を上げられているのを見て勇気を出して顔出し顔出しで動画を作成しています。着物は下着じ
着物はあんまり着ないからと簡単に考えないでほしいのです文化の塗り替えが起こってしまうとんでもない危機的状況です着物の専門家の立ち位置から今回の問題を丁寧にご説明くださっている方がいるのでぜひ、えー、素直の着物チャンネル様をご覧くださいそして声を上げてくださいチェンジ .org というウェブサイトから署名をしていただけます尊敬する方の言葉にこういうものがあります私たちは美力かもしれないただ決して無力ではない今回の件署名はもちろんのことなのですが世界に日本の素晴らしい文化を知ってもらうという必要性をひしひしと考え感じています美しい着物やその写真他の誇れる文化を紹介することで着物という言葉を着物という言葉を私物化しようとしているキムさんに対してそれダサくないと他の人たちから思われるような流れを作っていければと思っています他人事だとは思わずにぜひ声を上げていただければと思いますもし僕で英訳をして情報発信ができることがあれば時間の許す限り頑張ろうと思っています4歳児を4歳児をアメリカで共働きで育てている,育てている一家なのでどれだけ時間が取れるかは分かりませんがあの日本人としてのアイデンティティを守りたい気持ちはきっと僕の家族も理解してくれると思いますアメリカ在住だからできることもきっとあると思いますどうぞ引き続きよろしくお願いいたします。